Boys and girls, we are going to do a writing lesson about information. Everyone touch your head and go, information? Information! That's right. I hear that you actually have learned a lot about animals in your science lessons. Yeah. So let's think about when we write about information, we can't just all of a sudden start putting information on our planner. We have to first remember everything we know about animals. So we are now going to have a class meeting. What are we going to have? Class meeting. Please stand up. Make sure your pencil is on your paper where the fold is. Ooh, look how people are doing that. Putting their pencil on their paper. Push your chair in. You, you four stay there. You can tell me you four stay there. Push your chair in. Okay, now we are going to have a class meeting on the carpet here. I'm going to ask you to come over. When you come over, do you do this? Do you rush? <laughs> Put your hands up to your face and say, how embarrassing. Hi. And look at me and say, Mrs. Spencer, we're in first grade. <laughs> okay, excuse me. So you're going to, so you're going to walk over to the carpet and you're going to sit down so that we can brainstorm together. See if you can walk over. Do I need to dismiss you as tables, or can you walk over just all at once? Walk over, walk over. All right, let's see. Come over, carefully sit down. Wow. Look how nice you're doing that. I have a bunch of show-offs in this room. You know, we're going to be writing on the board right here. Come and take a seat right here and sit down. Oh, look how you're just sitting right down so you can see. So now we're going to brainstorm up on the board everything you know about animals. So what I want you to do is I want you to, first of all, I'm going to give you 30 seconds, no talking. Put your finger on your, on your lips. Touch your finger on your head. And I want you now to close your eyes and think of everything that you learned about animals. Now watch, you, watch me. I'm going to show you what I'm doing in my head. Oh, animals have fur. Oh, some animals have scales. Some animals have skin. Some animals have feathers. Oh, they have these coverings to keep themselves warm. Okay, okay. Let me see what else. Oh, some animals need to live in certain places. Like they need air and water and shelter. Okay. So look what I'm doing. I'm thinking of everything I can remember I learned about animals. Ready? You have 30 seconds. Close your eyes. Think of everything you know about animals. Go. Okay, eyes up here. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to have you share with a buddy. I'm going to show you how I do this in high school. So everyone look straight up at me. We are going to do high school sharing. Everyone go, ooh. ooh. I know. Are you ready? I'll show you what high school kids look like. Could you come sit next to me? Watch this. First of all, are your legs crossed and your hands in your lap? Yes, they are. Now, when I say turn to your buddy, do you pick your buddy? Say no. 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 In high school, the teacher tells you who your buddy is. So you wait and see. I'll show you how to do that. But when I do say turn to your buddy, watch how it looks. You do this. You turn. So turn in. Don't do it to anybody yet because we're gonna, I'm going to tell you who your buddy is. Lean in. You're talking. When I say stop, do you keep talking? No. 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 Would high school kids do that? No. no. Never. And then, once I say stop, you turn around and hands are back in your lap. So now, could we say thanks to our friend? Thank you. Take a seat. And now I'm going to show you when, I, when you're in high school, the teacher's going to tell you who your partner is. Now watch what happens. I'm going to show with you two first. Ready? You two are partners. When, you're, when, you're, uh, when your partner is told to you, this is what you do. You turn in and you give a thumbs up and you smile. Ready? Watch them. You two are partners. Turn in. See how you're turning this way? Put two thumbs up and smile at your friend. There we go. Turn back around. You two are partners. Turn, smile, thumbs up. Excellent. You two are partners. We are going to do the following. Are you ready? Turn to your buddy. Go. Turn to your buddy. And remember, you're going to stay straight. Tell your buddy everything you know about animals. You have 30 seconds. Go. All right, stop, turn around, eyes up here. Oh my goodness, did you see that? 
It's like I'm in a high school class. Everyone go, we know. We know. <laughs> Show offs. <laughs> All right, now watch what I'm going to do. Again, I'm going to do this the way you would see in a high school class. I'm going to choose a stick. Everyone go, that's fair. That's fair. I know it is. <laughs> and when I choose a stick, does anyone need to yell out or say no. anything? No. Again, hands to your face and say, how embarrassing. How embarrassing. We would never do that, I know. All right, let's see. Serena, what do we know? What do you know? Where's Serena? Right there. Serena, what do you know about animals? Tell me something you know about animals. They have ears. So I'm going to write ears. And then, why do they have ears? So they can hear. So they can hear. Look at me for a minute. She used the word so. Everyone go, she made a longer sentence. She made a longer sentence. What was her word that she used to make a longer sentence? So. so. Hey, can I write the word so up here? Is that okay? All right, I'm going to put so. And then I'm going to put, they have Ears so they can hear. Yeah. All right. Let me pick another person. Everyone say, good job, Serena. Good job, Serena. Good job, Serena. Do you love how Serena said it so quickly? Yeah. And you know what? Can I just say something that you all did? And what? I bet you noticed this, Serena. When Serena was saying how they have all ears, everybody was just looking at her like this. I felt like I was with college students. That's what college kids do. They just wow. kind of, they, they watch, but do they say anything? No. Because no. it's not their turn. Olivia, where are you? She's here. Okay. Angelina. Oops, eyes up here. Angelina. Oh, yes. She was there. Is that you? Yes. Okay, Angelina, tell me something you know about animals. That they have scales, they have fur and skin. <laughs> Everyone go, <gasps> ooh. Angelina, let's give her a, ooh, you're a brainiac. Ready? Ooh, you're ooh, a brainiac. Yeah. Okay, now let me put it down. Are you ready, Angelina? I have ears up here. Would that go with this part, or do I need a new part here for what you said? Does that go, does ears go with, with what you just said? Scales, fur, skin, or does it need to be in another place? It needs to be in another place. Yeah, it's not the same, is it, huh? So let's put that. I'm going to do fur like this. Is that okay? Yeah. And then what else? You said scales. And then what else? I meant pine things, too, for, like, little things for, like, well, let's stick with what you said right now. You said fur, scales, and skin. And you had feathers? Skin. And, oh, and skin. All right, hold fur. on a minute. Why do they have fur? To keep them warm like bunnies and dogs. And cats. Hold on a minute. What word did she use to make that sentence longer? So. 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 Two. Let's hear her say it again. They need fur to? They need fur to keep Warm. Okay, know. let's stop for a minute. Why do you have scales? Because to protect themselves like dinosaurs. Because what do the scales do? Do the scales keep the, the moisture in or out? Out, out? Let's see. Do they want when they when it gets really hot out, are they lucky that they have scales? Yeah, because yeah. it yeah. keeps them um, no. So when it gets hot out, do they need the scales like a snake? Yep. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> so what, are the sna what does the snake need to have the scales for? To keep them, to keep them hot. Do they want to stay hot or do they want to? Cool. So, so, but, so they need scales because it, what do the scales do? <laughs> keep them cool? Yeah, cool. Okay. What about the feathers? Why do they need feathers? Keep them warm. Let's see. So I have warm and cool. So birds have feathers so they can do what with them? Keep warm. What do they do with the feathers? Flap them to fly. Oh my goodness, to fly. And why do we have skin? Why do you have the skin? That's hard. Is that hard? Yeah, Point no, to I your... got it. I got it. Okay. But if I had to pick one, I would pick some Okay, you know what? I'm going to have my friend right there. Why do we have skin? To protect yourself. Yeah, yeah, that. Look at my friends and go, wow. 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 I know that. To protect themselves. Okay. Now, we have a lot of information so far. Let me get a couple more people, and then I'm gonna, we're going to go to our writing. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, Daniel S. Daniel S. 
Yes, tell us something you know about animals. Let's do something really quickly. Are you ready, Daniel? Everybody, turn to your buddy one more minute and tell them what you know about animals. Ready? Go. Okay, let's stop. Daniel S., tell us something you know about, about animals. <gasps> Ooh, is that going to go here with all this coverings that they have or their parts? Or do I need a new spot? New spot. Everyone go, ooh. Ooh. So animals need shelter. Ooh, let's use a key word. Like, like what? Oh, so they can keep warm. Ooh, so they can keep warm. To keep safe and warm. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me do another person. One at one last person. Me. Ellie. Oh, yes. Where's Ellie? Okay, Ellie, go ahead. What do you know about animals? Let's put something here. They have ears. What other? Ooh, look how everybody's looking straight up here. Do you see how you're looking up here? Do you see how you're looking up here? Ellie. Go ahead and tell us, what's another part of an animal? We have the ears. What's another part? Eyes. <gasps> they have eyes. Why do they have eyes? So they can see. Ooh. And I have the word so here. Could I use to see? To see. Okay. Now, everybody, let's all say, thanks, Ellie. Thanks, Ellie. Okay, sit up nice and tall. Now, everyone go like this. Do we have enough information to, oh, to, I'm sorry, say seated. Legs crossed, hands on left. I'm sorry, Mrs. Petzerman, sit on your bottoms nice and tall. Do we have enough information to write about this? Is that enough? One thing? Uh, Say, not enough. Not, not enough. enough. Is this enough? Yes. Maybe. Mine is. Maybe. What about this one? Is this enough? Yes. yes. Okay. Everyone go like this. Go, box the big idea. Box, box the big idea. idea. All right, I'm going to put a box here. Now, boys and girls, who or what is fur, scales, feathers, and skin. Who or what is this about? Is it about a rug or animals? Animals. Oh, so everyone go like this. I'm gonna just put a pretend animal here, okay? Everyone go like this, go, animals. Animals. Now everyone go like this, go, what's the big idea about animals? What's the big idea about animals? So we're talking about what when we say fur, scales, feather, and skin? What about an animal here? What information are you telling about an animal? Everyone go, what information am I telling about an animal? So if I'm talking about fur, scales, feathers, and skin, what information am I telling you about? How are all these the same? Are they the same because you're talking about the way they eat or their coverings? Tell the person next to you, go. How are they all the same? Turn back around. Dalen. Oh, is he right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So animals have different coverings. Coverings. On their eyes? Uh, on body. 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 Oh my goodness. The Everyone look at, at our friend and say, who cares? Who cares? Say, why do we need to know that? Why do we need to know that? Turn to your buddy. Why do animals? Who cares? Why do but why do animals have all these different coverings on their body? Why? why? Tell your buddy why. Okay, turn around. I'm gonna pick a stick. Everyone say that's fair. I know it is, isn't it? Jesse, where are you? Okay, Jesse. Why do they have coverings? Why? Is he right? Yes. yes. Everyone go, excuse me. <laughs> All right, so let's put warm. Um, is there another reason why they have coverings? To stay warm? Let's see, Marissa, yes. Why do they have those coverings? Where's Marissa? Right there. Okay, Marissa, why do they have coverings? Do they have coverings so that they can eat or to protect themselves? To protect themselves. <gasps> I'm going to put protect here. Wow, we have 
so much good information. Please stand. We are now going to write about information. Everybody go, get organized! Get organized! All right, if I'm going to get organized, then this is what I need to do. I need a big idea. What do I need? A big idea. And then I need information, information, information to tell about the big idea. You ready? <laughs> then I need what? Information, information, information. To tell about the? Idea. idea. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Everyone say, get organized. Get organized. I need a big idea. I need a big idea. And then I need information, information, information. I need information, information, information. To tell about the big idea. To tell about the big idea. Okay, you are not going to get this part. What is this part? If you need a big idea and information, what is the box part for? Is that information or the big idea? Big idea. Big idea. Man, I thought I'd get you. What about these parts down here? Is that the big idea or information about the big idea? Information about the big idea. Oh, man. All right, you're not going to be able to do the following. Are you ready? Put your hand on your hip and go like this, like, yes, we are. We'll see. You ready? Here's your directions. You're going to go back to your seat. You're going to sit down with your pencil in your hand, and you're going to be able to see up on the board right here. Now, do you do that where you go back like this, or are you going to go back carefully? Carefully. We will see if you can. Go. This group. I cannot believe this group. Look at Anne, I get smiles. <laughs> so lucky. Okay, let me. Oh, and people have their pencil in their hand and they're looking on the board right here. Boys and girls, you have your organizer in front of you. Yes? Yes. yes. Now, yes. I'm going to make a big one on the board. Do you draw what I'm doing right now? Say no. No. Okay. I love how you're all sitting up nice and tall looking up here. Wow. This is your organizer, that long piece of paper. Now, take your finger, not the pencil, and go across the fold. So right here on your paper, you had a fold. Don't fold your paper, just take your finger and go whoosh, across the fold. Now, I want you to do the following. Are you ready? Pick up your pencil. Go to the fold, take your pencil, put it on one side. Go all the way across, just like that. Do you go slowly or quickly? Quickly. Everyone say quickly. Quickly. That, oh my goodness. I did not even say that at first, that you already knew to go quickly. And look how your paper is flat on the table so I can see it. Flat on the table. Now, touch the top of your paper in the middle. So I'm going to look and see. Can you do that? Do you see where your paper is? Right at the top in the middle. Okay, watch me. Ooh, look how everybody's eyes are right here. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down, and now I have two boxes. You do it. Go. I didn't even have to say to do it quickly. You're just doing it quickly. Love this group. All right. Now, everyone look over here and say, oh, that's the big idea boxes. That's the big idea boxes. Everyone touch this box. Look at that box and say, who or what is this information about? Who or what is this information about? Now, is this about people or is it about all animals? All animals. I don't want to have to write the word animals on my organizer. I just want to write a quick drawing. Am I going to have to draw all animals or just a real quick pretend animal? A real animal. Let me ask you something really quickly. Should you make this an art project? Everyone go, no. No. Is this supposed to be a fast sketch? Yes. yes. I will see. Make sure your eyes are looking straight up here. I will see. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make sure. I'm going to make sure you can see by doing this. Okay. Go just like that. There you go. All right. Keep that pencil in your hand. Here we go. Make your pretend animal. I'm going to make a pretend animal right here. There we are. There's mine. I'm done. 
And do I say done when I'm done? No. I, I just look straight up at me. And look how nobody's saying anything. I'm just walking around. I can look at your paper by walking around. Wow, people have their animal done already. I love it. And look how quickly. See how you're just making the head? And it's done. You're done. See that? That's it. We're done. Wow, you're little, already finished. And nobody's saying anything. Poodle. Nobody's saying anything at all because we know we're just moving on. I made Ready, my like friends? Poodle. Ready, my friends? We're going to look up here. Put your hand in the air and go, animals. Animals. Now touch the second box and go, what's the big idea about animals? What's the big idea about animals? Let's go over to our brainstorm. What did we say we were writing about animals? Were we writing about what they needed to survive or about their coverings? Oh my gosh, let's go over to our big idea box. Oh, and look how you're looking up here. Let's write coverings. Do you want to write the way kids do in the upper grades? Okay, everyone say, chunk the letters. Chunk the letters. All right. I'm going to say three letters and you're going to write them down quickly. C O V. Say it. C O V. See how you're writing it down quickly? E R. Wow, you're able to stay right with me. I-N-G. 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 Now, do all animals have one covering, or are we talking about many coverings? Many coverings. So what do I need on the end? S. Put the S. Let's go back, and let's read our big idea. Are you ready? Yes. Touch your box. Everyone go, animals, animals have, coverings. have coverings. Now everyone go like this, say, who cares? Who cares? Why do they have coverings? Why do they have coverings? Tell the person at your table, why do they have coverings? Go. Okay, my friends, I'm going to pick somebody's name. Look how nobody's saying anything. They're waiting for a person's name. Oh, I already picked that person. Andrew. Where's Andrew? Okay, Andrew. Why do they have coverings? To keep them safe. See you right. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm going to write safe underneath the word coverings. Is that okay? Yes. I'm saying four letters. Can you do it? Yes. Ready. Pencil in your hand. Ready to write. Ready? S A F E. Go. S A F E. Do they have coverings for another reason? Tell the people at your table, what other reason do they have them? Okay, my next friend, Hannah. Where are you? Okay, Hannah, why do they have coverings? Keep them warm. Is she right? Yes. It has four letters and warm. You want to do four? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Pencils ready. Are you ready? Yes. W A R M. Say it with me. Go. W A R M. Look how I'm just putting my ideas in my box. Now, you all want to act like teachers? Put your hand on your hip and point at me. And everyone go like this say, Talk like a writer. Talk like a writer. Okay, now really be teachers. I want you to be teachers right now. So put your hand on your hip and go like this. Animals, coverings, safe, warm. Does that sound like a writer? Animals. Everyone go like this, go. No. 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 Say talk like a writer. Talk like a writer. Okay, okay, let's see. All animals have coverings that keep them safe and warm. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, so when I'm reading my organizer, do I have to write all the words down? No. 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 But do I need to say all the words that are going to be in my sentence? Yes. 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 Watch me again. Ready, everyone? Go. Let's say my sentence so far. Look how my friends are looking up here. Get your hands in the air. Can I shake your hand? You know to look straight up here. You were helping your buddy by just showing that you're ignoring and looking up here. 
I'm going to high five it. That's what good writers and students do. And I'm going to be looking for those students that follow those directions. Are we ready, my friends? Get your hands just like this. And everyone say, all animals. Ready? Go. All, all animals, animals have coverings that keep them safe and warm. And keep them safe and warm. See if you can say that to the person next to you. Go. Oh, oh you mean you're acting it out too? Excuse me. That's what you see in high school. Oh, Ready? Go. Ready? Go. All animals have coverings that keep them safe and warm. Oh my goodness. Is that our big idea? Yeah. yeah. Now we're going to go here and now everyone point to your shoulders and go, I need information, information to tell about the big idea. I need information, information to tell about the big idea. Okay, okay. Put your hand on your organizer. Go down just a little bit and put your finger there. So I'm going to look to see where your finger is. Ready? Take your pencil and put it where your finger is. Go across and that's it. You're not making a line. You're just making one line. You're not making two. And that's your information box. Everyone go, that's an information box. Okay, now I'm going to pick a name and have someone come up. So if you're sitting up nice and tall with your hands folded, am I going to be able to pick you? And what if you're not picked? Do you do anything like, oh, do you do that? We never do that. Because is this fair? No. Yes. No. Is it fair to pick a stick? Yes. Yes. Everyone say, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. Lolly. Where is she? Okay, Lolly, come on up. What's your name? Angelina. Did you see that? Lolly was chosen, and she just smiled at her friend that she was chosen. Everyone say, thanks, Angelina. Thanks, Angelina. No, I said. Watch how, and did you see how, and do you see how you're sitting up nice and tall and showing us how you're being a peace builder? What a nice friend to do that. That's what we're looking for. Come on over to our brainstorm. Pick up your marker. I mean, you're going to pick up a marker, but before we do, I want you to stand here. We already have our big idea. What information, you can pick any one of these, what covering, so all, everyone look at Angeli, I, everyone look at Lolly right now, and everyone go like this. What's one kind of covering? What's one kind of covering? An animal needs to keep warm. Now say it all together. Ready? Go. What's one kind of covering an animal needs to keep warm? I'm not going to say it. You ask her now. Say, what's one kind of what covering? Go. What kind of covering an animal needs to keep warm? What's one kind? Let's go back and let's look. Fur, scales, feather, or skin. Which one? What kind do you want to do? Which one? Fur. Yes, I Are you ready? She's going to do fur. Everyone look at our friend and say, ooh. Ooh. All right, erase the fur. Now, we're going to go over to our box. Touch your box. I could draw a picture or I could write the word fur here. Which one? Draw a picture. Okay. You may go back to your seat. Pick up your pencil. Everyone say, thanks, Lolly. Thanks, Lolly. All right, watch what I'm doing. Am I going over to the edge or right in the middle? Right in the middle. I'm going to put a circle with a bunch of fur on it and a head. There's my animal with all kinds of fur. And I put it right in the middle. Ooh. Shall we make it a longer sentence? I don't know. We'll see. Who or what are we talking about? Everyone point to your box and say, who or what is this about? Who or what is this about? So what is this about? Is this about animals or is this about chairs? Animals. Okay, everyone go, what about animals? What information are we saying about animals on this information box? That they have what? Everyone. 
For our, everyone say it with me. Ready? Go. Animals have food. Uh-oh. I already said animals up here. Put your hands in the air. Everyone go like this. Go woo, woo, woo. Say redundant, please. Redundant, please. You can't keep saying the same important words over and over again. Oh, so do I want to keep saying animals, animals, animals? No. no. Ah, let's put a line here and figure out a different way to say animals. When we're talking about animals, are we talking about when these animals have fur? Or are we talking about which animals have fur? Which. Ooh, so do all animals have fur or do many animals have fur? Let's write that up here. Write the word many. M-A-N-Y. You say it. M-A-N-Y. Well, what did I do with the M? Did I make it a lowercase or a capital? Oh, you show-offs. Look how you're making it a capital. Check your M. Touch it. Is it a capital M? Yeah. All right, make sure. Ooh, I see some people being teachers and fixing it. All right, my friends, let's go back and let's read what we have so far. Let's start with the top box. Everyone, put your animals up in the air. <laughs> Here we go, ready? Animals, let's start with that word. Ready, go. Animals have coverings that keep them warm and safe. Do we have that? Let's do it again. Ready, go. Animals have coverings that keep them warm and safe. Let's go over here. What am I going to start with? What word? Many. Ready? Many have fur. What do they have? Many have fur. I don't think you're going to be able to read this so far to the person at your table. Do you think you can? Yes. Let's see you. Go. Read it with your buddy, your, your, your organizer. Oh, look how you're pushing your organizers next to each other. Look at this. Look how your organizers are right next to each other so that you can read them with each other. Excellent. Point to your organizers and read what you have so far. Ready? Go. All right, my friends. Let's go and put your eyes up here. Here we go. Ready? Let's see if we can say the whole thing together now. Go. Look at my first box. Oh my gosh, I just heard someone go like this. Coverings, and then they went, that doesn't make sense. And then they went back and went, oh, animals have coverings. Because are you supposed to say it so it makes sense? Show offs. Do it again. Ready? Go. That make them. Many animals have fur. I think we need another information box. Everyone go, I need more information. I need more information. Put your finger down just a little bit to make another information box. Make a line go straight across just like that. There you go. Look how quickly people are doing that. Now I'm going to pick a name. All right, let me pick a name. Marcos M. He's here. Ethan C. He's over there. Oh, that's okay. We're going to come back. Ethan C. Where's Ethan? Come on up, Ethan. Stand right here. Everyone look at Ethan and say, we need more information. We need more information. Now everyone go to Ethan and say, what is another covering an animal has? What is another covering an animal Okay, look at our list. Which one are we going to do? Look at your ideas here. What do we have? Scales, feathers, skin. Which one are we going to do? <gasps> say scales. Scales. Erase the scales. All right, put it down. Everyone say, thanks. Thanks. Take a seat. Where am I going to write the scales? Am I going to do it in the side or right in the middle? Right 
touch in the middle, quickly. Let's write scales this time. Ready, everybody? Pencils up. SC. Ooh, look how quickly people are writing it down. A L E. A L E. S. All right, are we ready? Do all animals have scales? Oh, look how everyone's looking up here. Do all animals have scales? No. Uh oh. Let's go back and let's read our notes again. Ready? Put your hands up. Go. Animals have different coverings that keep them safe and warm. Many animals have fur. Everyone go. Who are we talking about? Scales. Who, though, are we talking about that has scales? Animals. What kind of animals? Oh my goodness, let's put, a, let's put a line and let's write snakes and fish. Ready everybody? Uh oh, I'm starting snakes with the beginning of my sentence. What do I need to do with the S, lowercase or capital? capital. Let's do it. Everyone say capital S. Capital S. C-A-L-E. Oops, I'm sorry. No, 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 stop everyone. Say capital S. N-A-K-E-S. N-A-K-E-S. Let's just use snakes. Oh, here we go. Let's read our organizer. Are we ready, my friends? Yep. Go back to the beginning. Say animals, go. Animals. animals. Oh, look how everybody's looking up here, and they're getting their arms ready. Do it with me again. Ready, go. Animals have different coverings they use to keep safe and warm. Many have fur. Snakes have scales. All right, let's do another one. Put a line across for another idea box. Now let's look over here. Give me another idea. What do we have? Feathers. Let's put feathers right here. I'm going to draw a feather. Me too. I'm going to draw a colored gold line, but with gray. I love it. Do all animals have feathers or some? Some. <gasps> Let's put some what? Or do I want to say some or do I want to say birds? Which one? Birds. Really? Yes, because they fly and they have wings. Birds. Let's write birds. What am I doing with the B? Lowercase or capital? Capital. capital? Put it down on your starter sentence. At the beginning of your sentence, put your starter line and write birds. Okay. Now let's go back and do our last one. What's the last one, everybody? Skin. Where would I write that? Do I need to just write it next to the feather or make a new information box? New, new information box. All right, and I'm going to write the word skin, S-K-I-N. Now let's do our starter line. Who or what has skin? Do you want to say that? Yes. What humans? What do I do with the H? Oh my gosh. H U. Everyone say H U. H U. M A N. Now do I say human or humans? Human. What do I need at the end? S. Put an S. Oh my gosh. Put your pencils down. Let's see if we can read our whole paper. Are we ready, my friends? Put your animal hands up. Here we go. Ready? Go. Animal. Oh, look how all my friends have their animals' hands up. Ready? Go. Animals have different coverings to keep them safe and warm. Many have fur. Snakes have scales. Birds have feathers. Humans have skin. Turn to your buddy and read your sentences to your buddy. Go. Stop, eyes up here. 
Look what I just saw. All three of you had your papers here and you were reading them. Everyone go, ooh, like high school kids. Ooh, like high school kids. Turn your paper to your buddy and read it again. Ready? Go ahead and read to your buddy. Here we go. You sound good. All right, my friends. Put your pencil in the air. Everyone go like this. Go punctuation time. Punctuation time. All right. We are going to see if you can act like teachers. Go up to the top sentence. Is it just some animals or all animals have coverings? Oh. What word do we want to start with? Uh, many. Oh. Is it many or all animals have coverings? Oh. Let's start with the word all here. And what do I do with the A? Capitalize it. Put all up there so you have a capital. Let's go back. All animals have coverings to keep them safe and warm. <gasps> I'm, in, I'm done with my sentence here. What do I put at the end? Period. Put a period. So do you have your capital and do you have your period? All right, here we go. Let's go back and touch the box and read. Ready, guys? Go. All animals have coverings to keep them safe and warm. <gasps> go to many. Do you have a capital on many? Yes. Ready? Read it. Many animals have I'm done with my sentence. What do I need? Go to the next one. What's our first one? Snakes? What do I need to do with snakes? Put the capital on there. Put the capital on the word snakes. Ooh, I love how you're following along. Look at my friends looking over here in front of me. Their pencil right here. I'm making sure you have your pencil right there. Just like you have. Good for you. All right, my friends. Go back again. Read it again. Go. All animals have coverings to keep safe and warm. Many have fur. Snakes have scales. Fur. Oh, snakes have scales. What goes at the end? Period. Push a period. Go to the next line. Read it. Go. Birds have feathers. Push a period. Read your next one. Humans. Uh oh, what do you do with the H? Make sure it's capitalized. Ready? Read it. Humans have... Put your period. Last thing. Put your hands up like this. And everyone go, add fancy words. Add fancy words. Let's go over here. Go to your first one about fur. What kind of fur would an animal have? How would you describe it? Would you say ugly, or would you say soft, or would you say thick to keep them warm? Soft. Soft? Let's write soft. How else does that fur need to be to keep them warm? Would you want it so that it's all spread apart or thick? Thick. <gasps> Maybe I'll write thick here. We'll see if you can add that to your writing. Ready? Cut your next one. Scales. Do they have one scale or many, or do they have many scales? Many scales. Ooh, let's put many. Everyone say, what kind of feathers do birds have? What kind of feathers do birds have? How would you describe the feathers? Do they have, am I going to worry about whether they're colorful feathers? No. What am I going to say about the feathers? Birds have lots of, let's put lots, of feathers. Yeah. Humans have, touch your skin. How would you describe your skin? So, uh, nice and warm. Ooh, let's put warm skin. I love it. 
Now, let's see if we can be fancy schmancy. Everyone go fancy schmancy. <laughs> let's see if we can say our sentences like that. Are you ready? Yeah. Go back up and touch your sentences one more time. Go. All animals have many covering. Oh, everyone do it with me. Ready? Get your hands in the air. Go. All animals have many coverings that keep them safe and warm. Soft and thick fur. Snakes have many scales. Birds have lots of feathers. Humans have all right, my friends, pick your pencil up, read your whole paper to your buddy. Go. doing this over here. Excellent. Keep going. Look how my friends are reading it and writing it down. Keep going. Oh, 
day where you would be doing your brainstorming. Done. Then another day you would then start and probably do a big idea and maybe a, de a detail and then go back and do more. And then orally rehearse it and write it down. Now, when we're done, they're going to go back and they're going to count how many periods they have here. Then they're going to go back and they're going to count to see it's the same on their papers. They're going to count how many capitals they have and check and make sure that they have all the same starter words capitalized so they can edit their sentences on their own. You see that? And when they eventually get to where they brainstorm information and write information and make their own organizers, you will check their whole organizer first, okay? So you're, they're not gonna write or anything. You're gonna make sure, do they have their starter word? Can they say their complete sentences? Now today, we brainstormed and added expanding sentences. Did you see that? Eventually, I can go around during these lessons and expand with some who can, okay, from our ideas up there. Today, we just kept it like this because it was our first lesson. I also, as the year goes on, we can expand with everybody, all right? So that way I can differentiate right in the lesson. And I did that just so that they had the exposure. But did you see I just kept with very simple ones because we're just starting to learn this, okay? All right, let's give one more round of applause for our kids. 